Hey, what's up guys? It's Mike here from Dr. Mantis to Games and we are here finally with Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, so, <laughs> it's released here today. I know people got like the pre-sale one, the digital version, but I wanted to make sure I got a proper copy of the game. That's why I'm a little bit behind everybody else, uh, but I don't care. That's what I really wanted and I'm glad I'm finally playing it. Playing it on stream for the first time as well, so yeah, cannot wait. So I've got my letter to Hogwarts. Uh, we are pleased to inform... Uh, inform you that you've been accepted to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Oh, yeah. As a fifth year student. How old would that actually make them? I don't even know. Isn't it like 11 to 17 or something? I don't know. Term begins on the 1st of September. Supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside school. However, due to your unique circumstances, fair enough, um, the Ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Eliza Fig, Eliza Fig to help you hone your spellcasting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of Ten Feast and the Sorting Ceremony. Oh yeah! <laughs> Alright, so we get to customise our dude. I don't know what I'm going to call him though. Uh, right, I'm going to make it I, that's probably the closest uh, looking one to me, actually. Right. Face wear. Let's have a look. Face shape. Ooh. It's really hard to... Um, no. 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 That's nothing like me. No. It's quite hard to find one that works, isn't it? <laughs> Just trying to make it a little bit. I mean, I'm not going to... I'm going to call the character Dr. Mantis, I think. I, I don't really know. Dr. Mantis started Hogwarts with a PhD. What's that? A pretty huge down. Uh, I think the first one. <coughs> <coughs> I do apologise. I've got a bit of a cough. A bit bent out to be fair, but I am not not streaming this game. Not doing it. I need a bigger nose. I feel like that one. Right. Skin colour. Get a little bit lighter tone. Mm. I look really pale because of the ring light, but yeah. Indeed! How was you, Dexter? I hope you're doing well, buddy. Good to see you, as always. Uh, awesome stream earlier, by the way, where I uh, <laughs> kept telling you all the baddest daddest jokes. I wish there was sliders rather than presets. Yeah, I know. That's what I thought. Right, so I've got quite spiky hair, but it's not like that. I need to. Sh I need him to show more forehead, don't I? I guess, it, I mean, it's kind of like that, I guess. Mm, not like that. Oh my god. I mean, I know I've got a quiff, but holy hell. I think that one's probably the closest. And the hair colour isn't far off there either, is it? I've not really got light hair, have I? It's quite dark. Um, I wish there were... Yeah. Uh, all the jokes. Oh, yeah. I love all them bad dad jokes. Let's just make sure my microphone and that's okay. Um, I think we've got the hair colour. That all for that, right? Uh, complexion, freckles and moles. I don't... I've got bags under my eyes. <laughs> I don't really have many freckles. Complexion. None of them are where my mole is on my face. Oh, well, I'll go for that one. Scars and markings. I mean, we could make them all badass. But I'm not going to. I have quite low eyebrows, don't I? Yeah, that's got some weird... Oh, you can have no eyebrows. Damn. I've got more angled eyebrows. I can't find the right ones. I'm going to go for that. I don't actually think it matters. Right. Eye colour. Brown, obviously. Yeah. He's one handsome looking fella. Right. Voice one. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Oh, God. No. That was quite something. Wait, what? There's literally... Uh, hang on. I am indeed a student, lower the but pitch. I very well. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going... That was quite something. I think the bottom... I don't have the deepest voice in the world, but I'm looking I'm looking at the bottom one. <laughs> right, um... How do we get facial hair? That's one thing. Where is facial hair? Got face shape. Right, that's the presets. Oh, actually... Yeah, he's a fifth year. He's not, he's not gonna have facial hair, is he? Should have, uh, yeah, should have really thought of all that. Really awesome to have a massive beard, wouldn't it? 
Right, okay, so select your difficulty, normal. I just want a balanced challenge, I don't want to do hard. Uh, let me just try and do L3 and R3. Oh, here we go, oh my god. Hang on, we need to spell this out properly. Doctor. It's official, please say there is a moustache. Matty man is. <laughs> I'm going to call it, I'm going to call his first name Doctor. That's actually his first name. Dr. Mantis. There we go. I could have called him Mantis Toboggan. Dormitory, witch or wizard. I'm a wizard, Harry. Right, I think that is it. Can't you change the clothes or anything? Right, okay. Right, we're going with this outfit, apparently. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, I've got an owl. It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. Oh, what is she? You've been practicing the spells we worked on. I before. have, Professor. Well, oh, yeah, she says Dr. Sure Mantis as well, yes. <laughs> quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force Well, to just ignore that. Get your own. It's a real person's Thank name. You, Professor Fink. <laughs> I appreciate you working with me all the time. Oh, who's this guy? <laughs> it's Mrs. Mantis. I would love to play this tomorrow at some point, please. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have George Osry. slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatre goers in the West End. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> much too long. He's quite the comedian, this guy. Uh, yes. Yeah. Best not speak here, Eleazar. Eleazar, that's his name. Of course. Eleazar. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We had a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Old pile of rocks. Oh, what's he looking at? He looks a bit nervous, doesn't he? I'm not being funny. Why does he have to go in the carriage? If he just teleported here, couldn't he just teleport back to wherever he was? <laughs> Apparently it's three o'clock. Was it three o'clock in the morning? It's really dark. Oh god, who's that? Oh, is that a Death Eater? If he disappears like that, is that a Death Eater? I've got a copper bag now. Surprised it's been left in the fridge since New Year's Eve. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I don't really drink them, so... Oh yeah, Warner Brothers games. Yeah, the soundtrack already sounds amazing to this, so... Heard about your amazing fare thee well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she got loads of stuff. It was brilliant. Wizarding World. I've only watched one of the Fantastic Beasts um, films, though. I've not really got into that as much as the Harry Potter films. Hopefully the sound's alright. I turned the game audio up a little bit because I know that from my last stream it might have been a bit quiet. Just <laughs> barely. Uh, oh, honestly, I was so overwhelmed, but in a nice way. It was lo it was a lovely farewell. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you got loads. It was good. Um, it'd be in there until I get a new fridge if it was in my house. How extraordinary! It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the Must be other a reason, years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Yeah, well, at least we're not starting as like an 11 year old or whatever. <laughs> Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? What's this? Ran Rock's Goblin Rebellion. I have. Truth or gobbledygook? Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ran Rock really is. Although I've yet to convince oh, my colleagues saying? at the Ministry, I believe oh, it's a dragon. is a significant threat. And it was your wife. Oh, the Hell's Feathers are switching around there. Who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? Fair. Yeah. If it wasn't a copper bag, if it was a beer, it wouldn't have lasted that long. The ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. 
It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl. But with no correspondence, I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I still can't take that seriously. I Dr. Mantis on the subtitles. Nor do I. That is a symbol for the game. I have no idea what it is. It's doing something though. Oh, it's unlocked. Merlin's beard. It's a key. How did you wait? We do. Oh damn! Oh lordy! Well, that that took a turn. Wow. I hope the owl's still up here. Oh, right, the flying beast have appeared at the front. Come on, you can get away. <laughs> Our internet's been awful, so I may have to go. It probably is while I'm streaming, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. The key. The key. Yeah, grab it, grab it. Don't lose it. Oh, well, that was lucky. Just grabbed it in time. Real Nathan Drake, hello, hello. How are you? I am really good, thanks, buddy. Lovely to see you. How's it going? <coughs> oh, a squirrel. Are you right? Where are we? You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Oh, I can feel the heartbeat through the controller. What the hell? <laughs> it's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Oh, I wish we had this stuff in real life. Right, press down to heal. Takes his time, doesn't it? I hope it's not that slow actually in the game. <laughs> what happened? Poor George. I can't believe he. Do we reckon he's dead? What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage midair? A typical dragon would never. Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. Yeah, why is the keyboard key here? The was clearly a port key. Portkey, mm. an item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. Hard, very, <laughs> yeah. A rough landing, but yeah, I'd fair enough. better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would, but stay close. We've no idea who created this portkey, or why. Or oh, why, right, okay. Right, some gameplay. Let's go. Oh, God, it's bright. I'm actually squinting like it's real. <laughs> oh wow. This does this does look very impressive. I'm actually playing in the performance mode and not the fidelity mode. Oh yeah, very carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So, those ruins. Do you the port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. Mm. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Yes, let's, let's go explore. If we can find a path, however faded it may be. Yeah, this don't look dangerous. Oh, I'm doing good things. Oh, yeah. Nice one, good to hear it, dude. Mind your step. Right, yeah, I don't want to die already <laughs> at this you point in the game. Your wife got the port key that brought us here. A good question. Oh, Miriam I already messed up the first jump. Searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic. Yes, a powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have oh. been lost to time. Right, we're slowed down again. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. This way. Oh, God. 
<laughs> so the jumping's a little bit janky already. <laughs> for evidence of lost magic. I think it's more emphasised on the cutscene. Understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world? Spoke of the good it could do, but magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Fair enough. It's a bit like the internet. It can be used for good. Can be used for bad. <laughs> right. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a. It looks like ice, doesn't it? Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that one work you were practicing. Oh yeah. Focus on the center. Right, tap R2 to perform a basic cast. Can we aim? Yeah, I'm gonna say you should be able to uh, at least do a basic cast if you're a fifth year. <laughs> right, use your camera uh, with the right analog stick to select an active target. Some players prefer to select targets and move the avatar with the same stick. Uh, by disabling camera relative targeting in settings. No, I like to have the stick separate. Uh, the internet's a double-edged wand. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, Dexter. Ooh. Hold on, I can see. Yeah, I'd rather... Ooh. Nice. This, is, this reminds me of Uncharted in the Scottish Highlands. Sliding around. <laughs> I wonder where the cave... This reminds me a bit like the cave where um, Dumbledore brought Harry. Even them seagulls are so detailed, look. <laughs> right, how do we get over there? Up there. Up there. All right, I thought he meant right up there. I thought, isn't that just where we've come from? Oh, what's this? Oh, shit. Ah. I thought there would be collectibles and stuff, but yeah, fair enough. Oh, well, at least it's a bit of target We're practice. Now. It's just ahead. Oh, it's a bit windy. Oh, wow. Right, okay. That was easier than I thought it was going to be. Cheers, mate. Oh, I thought life was that easy. There, right, right. We're here. What you got to tell us, Professor? Why would someone have put this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Does this look our place? No. <laughs> right, uh, the minimap shows your surroundings with you in the middle. And this is your current objective. Press and hold to toggle the quest details. Right, okay. Spoiler alert. Professor Fig and I have travelled by a port key to a remote cliffside in the Scottish Highlands. We need to explore the mysterious ruins. Right, okay. Oh, investigate. Professor, right, that's pretty easy. It's a mural of some kind. Little indicators Perhaps to tell you what to look at, right? Noted seer. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, right, the mini map. So we can go down this way by the looks of it. Oh, investigate. Professor, this statue. This may have been his home. Wait, who's home? <laughs> I can't do that. There's nothing in any of these vases or jugs. That enchanted crystallized Ooh. stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? That looks like the symbol. Fig. Hey, what can we actually go through? No, right. I'm gonna have to use my uh, my cast. <laughs> Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. I do. Is that glow again? Like the glow on the port key container. Oh, so he can't see it. 
Interact with magic. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Wait, what? Oh, Where we're Godric? on the other side. I don't believe it. What was that? Oh, it's a sleeping goblin. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Hello? <laughs> Dr. Mantis says, hello. The goblin banker, right? Okay. <laughs> Snoozing on the job. That's not very good, is it? <laughs> <clears throat> wakey, wakey, sunshine. It can't be. It is. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> uh, <where> we? <laughs> it's a bit odd. Unless we was only expecting the visitor to come through that portal, I don't know. Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. This is a funky way into Gringotts, fair Vault enough. Number twelve, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key? Mm -hmm. The white port key. Oh, yes, of course. As if I'm telling him what to do. <laughs> this way, then. Stay close. Hey, mate, can't stay. I've just arrived at Rosie's Uncle's in Brighton. Oh, nice. That is it. Yeah, that's a, that's a long way to go. <laughs> Enjoy the game. Cheers, dude. Thank you so much. Thank you for popping in. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Make that money! Love it. Keep your hands inside the car yeah, hope you enjoy yourself, you dude. Wish to lose them. <laughs> oh yeah, hands and feet inside the car at all times. Alright, here we go. Yeah, I want you all to enjoy it. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, see, this is this is what the, uh, the like, bank should be like. I'd love it. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vault oh, the nice. A I'd totally go on that. To the bank common at Gringotts. They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. All right. So we're privileged. You want to take a breath? A what? Oh. That It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. That is awesome. This is Vault massive, isn't it? <laughs> was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. It looks like Settle it. Settling. We've quite a distance to go. Right, fair enough. I guess I've just got to sit here and wait then. Oh, maybe not. You could skip it, but obviously we're not going to skip stuff. Hit you! Hey, hyper modes! Vault number 12. Vault 12! Momentous day! <laughs> hmm. On your way. I wonder why it's always goblins that run the bank. They don't have a good um, diversity policy, do they, at Green Dots? <laughs> Professor, <coughs> the armband that God was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container. No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Oh, no. We've That's not good news. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Oh, is this it? Here we are. Follow Professor Fig. Right, okay, if you if what you let me. Last time this vault was accessed, a goblin has been stationed at my desk. For this still looks really good in the performance mode. To be fair, in that time, it's more no than good enough. Has visited Vault Twelve until today. The detail and stuff. It's... I don't know if this has, in fact, oh. 
I was just going to look at the menu, but fair enough. Oh, there's the key. Oh, they always have really cool doors in like the Harry Potter world, don't they? <laughs> Thank you for your help. And how do they have candles that haven't melted? It's it's magic. Right, let's see what this is all about. Right, you can go away now, Mr. Goblin. Leave us in peace. Because we don't know what's in here. We could be rich. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Right, fair enough. Oh, it's locked it again. Best of luck. <laughs> Best of luck. Professor, that was certainly unexpected. Oh, it's good. Let me <laughs> think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes. A revealing charm. No time like the present. Right, fair enough. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Oh, we get to do this, right. Focus. What have I got to do? Oh, I've got to steer it. Oh, no. Right. Steady your one with the left analog stick and guide it along the symbol's path to end the spell. Press the corresponding input when prompted to accelerate your one's motion along the symbol's path. Right, okay. Ooh. Ah! Oh, nice. Right, so that's how you learn the spell. Don't tell me I've got to cast that every time. Surely not. Right, cast Revelio. Revelio. There. I saw something. There. Oh, I didn't see Move anything. Move a bit closer and try again. Move a bit closer. Is this close enough, Mr. Fig? Professor Fig? Oh, a, a door. It's with that symbol oh, on again. To start, there's that symbol again. Mm. I don't suppose you see a way to. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. Right. Okay. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lead the way. Why is it always me that's a tough Lumos. chip? <laughs> Lumos, right, okay. So where's it taking us this now? This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you right, okay. earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Right, Not okay. Out of <laughs> Where are you going? Do I need to learn the Lumos charm? Right, okay. It's good to show off all the shadows and stuff. Just the whole lighting and reflections and everything I in games have got so head. good now. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Ooh. Is this the same symbol again by any chance? I don't know, it's spewing out something though. I have when no I idea. Towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Hey, they're underneath, upside right? down. Well, can yes, we get to the other sir, side? You seem to have caused the floor to change. It's that, that stuff again. Statue. What statue? Is that the I one we saw before? Sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Funky. Look at his butt. <laughs> right, um, can there I do anything? Be something to that reflection you're seeing. Oh, apparently Modern Warfare's updated. Cheers. Right, what have we got to do? Do I have to use Revelio? Try casting Revelio. Oh, yeah. He just says, doesn't he? What you saw reflected in the floor. Yes. It is. The reflection's still there. Oh yeah, they don't match. Yeah. Don't match. Oh, hang on, it's Wait, spinning wrong. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. That is Perhaps funky. That. Should cast Lumos. <coughs> yeah, it would be good to learn Lumos, right? Okay. Oh, it's catching up. Yes, that is really funky. I, I bet it's better on PC with a mouse that. But still, you've acquired the one lighting charm Lumos, which has automatically been slotted into your spell set. 
Lone Boss creates a light at the tip of your wand to help you see in dark areas. Right, use hold R2 and tap triangle. Right, okay. Lumos, well done. Ooh. I see, and then you can keep it equipped. It does follow the light. Right, it does, yeah. So let's get directly in line. Now it's stood up. Awesome. This is some serious good magic. Oh. I don't know, actually. This doesn't look good, actually. Look out. Oh, yeah, I forgot you don't have to use swords or anything. Just use your wand. <laughs> he makes it look so easy, doesn't he? Right, can I just use my normal charm? Oh, yeah, I'm hardly touching him. Oh, so you can use that to roll. This has a really Demon Soulsy sort of control about it. It's weird. This just feels right, actually. Right, can I strafe? Uh, pew, pew, pew! Yep, one goes pew, pew! Oh god, I didn't see him. Right, review your objectives to reveal the way forward. Right, Protego, uh, incoming enemy attacks. Right, okay. Oh, so they're just going to keep coming. Ah, nice. I like it. Oh, bugger. Right, I did that too late. I didn't realise it was going to come from the guy behind me. Yes. At least it gives you an indicator. Haha. -ha. Right, two out of three. Yes. Tap R2 to destroy uh, statues of the basic cast. Oh. Right. Would help if I actually aimed him. Right, the combat's actually quite good already. <laughs> Even though there's like just basics for now, but it's got so much potential. Nice. Oh, Lumos. Lumos. Professor. Right, where's he Professor gone? Fig. Professor, where are you? Where are you? This isn't good. Oh where damn. Am I supposed to go? Right. For some reason, What's there's happened? like lights going this way. Let's have a look. Wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Wisps of magic, right? Fair enough. Oh, there's something in the floor again. Ah, that's where they're leading me. Is it going to change the floor again? There's going to be more enemies. Right, perhaps it's separated us for a reason. Right, let's cast Lumos again. Oh no, it was um, Revelia. Reveal it. Time. Right, at least it's a good learning curve. Right, Lumos. Stand in front. Oh, right. Apparently we've done that one. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. All right, okay. Why isn't that one following? Ah, there we go. Line up there. Oh yeah. Right, and this geezer. Statues with their reflections. Great that you're streaming this great game. Hello, Elder Griff. How's it going, my friend? Welcome on in. Yeah, I'm on the performance mode on PS5 as well, and it looks really good so far, to be fair. I've sort of watched a bit of it. I don't want to spoil it too much. I've been really half arsedly watching other people on it so that I don't get any spoilers. Um, Perhaps I need to get them all to stand at once. Oh, hang on. So I'm going to go in the trajectory. Ah, right. I see. Well, that makes sense. Right, now we've got to fight him. <laughs> oh shit. Well, that was totally wrong. Oh, where's my basic spell? I like the way you can dodge as well. Right. Can you strafe? No. Review your, yeah, review your objectives to reveal the way forward. Uh, yeah, it can. Yeah, I can run it at 4K on the PC, but uh, lit. <gasps> 20 FPS, not worth it. That's ridiculous. See, at least on PlayStation, you can run it at 30 FPS at 4K. But, obviously, because I, I can only stream it in 1080, it just wasn't worth it. It looks really good, to be honest, in the performance mode. Oh, shit, I was not looking. I was not concentrating there. Right, Potato works quite well. Oh, I thought I'd... 
Yes! Ha! I wish I had another spell that just hit harder. Right, that's two of the statues gone. Oh yeah! In your face! Right, hold uh, triangle during Protego to stun enemies with the stupefy counter attack. Stun enemies take extra damage indicated by gold numbers. Right, do we get to try that out on a few enemies? Right, okay. Oh yeah. That is quite good. I, for some reason I keep wanting to roll rather than use the Protego. Right, I need to hold the Protego. Here we go. Hey, uh, wait, what? <laughs> Oh, I did that wrong again somehow. Aha. Right, one down. Ooh. He lunged at me. He stupefied another enemy. <laughs> Fair enough. Right. Let me try and save it for this one. Have I done my three? I think so. Oh, damn, I didn't see that dude. Right, I can press down to heal. That's all good. At least I've got a few of them potions. Ah! Oh, bollocks. Pressing the right button. Uh, the wrong button, even. Yeah, I did that. When you go to the yellow thing over your head, yeah, you can protego, but if it's red, you have to dodge. All ah, right. Right, stupefy that dude. Not what actually happened there. Right, if you chain them together, you do a heck of a lot more damage. Right. Alright, heal. Oh, I don't want to die already. That would be embarrassing. In the tutorial level. Ah, I just got you. Oh, I thought I held that to shoot by him then. I doesn't say I have to anymore, though. Boom! Right, is that it? Got them all? Yeah! But yeah, if it's red, you have to dodge. Fair enough. I will bear that in mind. Right, find Professor Frig. Yeah, let's... Frig? Fig. Yeah, let's see. Uh, yeah, reunited. I wonder if he's had to, like, battle as many uh, statues as I have. Oh, I keep thinking it's a cutscene, and I don't write right, Lil Moss. I was waiting for it then. I thought, is the game for us? No. <coughs> right. Wisps of magic. Follow the wisps of magic. Right. L3 to sprint. Ah, at least you can sprint. Ooh. That's that symbol. What is this? Can we investigate this? Oh, no. Hang on. Leading me to this. I just ran straight past it. Oh. Right, it's a door. Mm. What is this? We're in a totally different place. Can you actually go back through the portal? That's weird. Right, okay. Uh, I'm guessing... Uh, oh, is this one of those what you dunk your head into? Yeah, it's one of the memory thingies. I can't remember what you called it. I know everything has like crazy names in this universe, but... There he is! There you are. How did you... What? Is this place? I have I no idea. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive. Pensive. For viewing right, mirrors. that's what it's called. <laughs> I wonder. Follow my lead. Right, dunk your head in. 
Imagine if someone had just came and like stabbed you in the back as you was like looking in. <laughs> You'd be so vulnerable with your head stuck in a water dish. <laughs> right. Is this some ancient magic sort of? Oh yeah, they've got very uh, old style clothes on, haven't they? Rockwood. Well Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Oh, so we've got that ability then. It will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Right, that's why it's so secure. Head down, ass up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. Yeah, but it could have been Voldemort. You never know. <laughs> now, this is set in the 1800s, the actual game. I mean, this is this must be way earlier, but... Ron is actually... Oh. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never actually see or prove. Miriam and perhaps George died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. Yeah, I feel all important now. Oh, We're the key. Ago, oh no. Someone's coming. You're supposed to leave us to it. I don't know, but sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Okay. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's vault. Well, you and were wrong. Why are you here? No need for that. Just. Give me whatever it is you found here, and we can let bygones be bygones. We haven't actually physically got anything. <laughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. Oh, I, I damn. Meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have He doesn't play by the rules, this guy. Oh, damn. He's got a little temper, hasn't he? Patience for traitors. Oh. Now, where were we? I oh, it's only two foot. We can take anything. him, can we? <laughs> well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. <laughs> Damn, he's quite powerful, isn't he? <laughs> there are a lot of long cutscenes in this, but what's not is filmic. It's so filmic. It's done really, really well. Oh, is that thing going to attack us or them? It's going to attack them. Yes. All right then. He's a powerful little goblin. Right, do we have to fight this guy, or are we going to run? Oh, Professor Fig, don't be a hero. Just come on, Professor Oreo. Oh, that was close. That was really close. Honestly, it's like watching a film. It's brilliant. Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. A super goblin, a new race of goblin. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability. 
to end up here. Where are we then? Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Hogwarts. Oh, yeah. Are we in the Forbidden Forest or something? Aragog's not going to come out and get us, is he? <laughs> Alright. Oh! The Hogwarts Express. Nice. Oh, I hope you can get an owl and stuff in this. There it is, the castle! Oh, yeah. Wait, that looks magnificent, doesn't it? That's a really good, interesting intro. So, we're going to bump into our friend Ranrock again, aren't we, somewhere? I wonder what he wants, I wonder what he wants with it. Right, the Great Hall, are we going to the sorting ceremony? Right, I've already taken the Wizarding World quiz and I've already linked my account, so it should sort us into the right oh, house. Good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Hey, there we go. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ramrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course. All right. Thank you. Yeah, I'd rather not people know that, to be fair. Ready for the <laughs> Oh, the sorting hat. Uh, apparently this guy, Simon Pegg, isn't he? Yeah, the voice actor for him, Simon Pegg. He's just like, what's going on? He's uh, smelling a rat. Something's wrong. Phineas Nigellus Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. It's weird not having Dumbledore as a headmaster, isn't it? Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. Oh, well, we're no not way. getting sorted into a house then. Oh, I never realised that. Yeah, Patience. yeah, it's Sam and Peg. <laughs> it seems the goblin problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumours, Fig. And I'm I love the way they stay true like the films. have got all British yet. actors, haven't they? If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. Well, it wasn't my fault. <laughs> I'll be in touch. Cool. The Great Hall, look at it, the floating candles, the food. I always think the feast always looks so amazing. It looks very small though, doesn't it? This can't be everybody. Oh, Harry Potter there, look. <laughs> oh, Weasley, like, the massive Wizarding World universe and everybody has the same last names. Have a seat. Obviously Black is like Sirius Black, Weasley. Right, it's gonna sort us out into the house. <laughs> it should do, because I've signed into it. Ah, yeah. oh, going, oh, we've got a raid! Delta Flareon, hello, hello! Can I pause this? I don't think I can. I'm just going to watch this cutscene and get sorted into my house. <laughs> hello, welcome in. How was your art? I hope you had a really good stream, Delta. Right, I can't wait to start classes. I can't wait to explore. I can't wait to explore. I'm That's what it's all about to, to me. Hogwarts, well, yeah, we're about to get sorted into this house. Mm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors oh, the voice. have a great deal to teach <laughs> you as well. Mm. He's making us wait, isn't he? What's this? A wild raid appeared. Oh, yeah. I really do appreciate that, Delta. by challenges that lie ahead. <laughs> and your loyalty to a friend delayed your arrival here this loyalty? evening. Loyalty? Perhaps you belong in Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. We certainly do. We're accepting the house that the sorting hat chose for us. So we're a Hufflepuff. <laughs> there we go. Oh, well, I've got a trophy. The sort who makes an entrance. Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. There we go. Does that mean I can have the Hufflepuff themed robes now? Oh, yep. Yeah. There we go. Hey! There's all my mates at the Hufflepuff house. The Gryffindors. We haven't seen the slithery bastards yet, though, have we? <laughs> oh, 
Uh, it was good. Got more work, and then I uh, thought I, I was done. That's always good. Huffle pussy, says Dexter. Oh. <laughs> there is a rumour that Quidditch will be coming into this game, though, eventually. It may be a patch or an update or something. But don't tempt me. You are here to oh, the Slytherys, there they are. Futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure <laughs> you will have it, plenty yeah. to do before classes begin tomorrow. Get on with tomorrow. it. Don't make me come over there. <laughs> you awful pussy. Griffin, what is it? Griffin Dong. <laughs> It's lovely to meet you. Right, so this is Mrs. Weasley. Professor Weasley, Weasley. Professor Weasley that's it. Would you be it. so kind as to show our new student to their common room? Ooh, we get to see the uh, common room. Yeah, Quidditch DLC, I think, yeah. I oh, so you'll have to pay I'm more for it. Weasley. I think it should be patched. It should be an update that's... Well, not a patch, but an update well, to include. As deputy headmistress, it is my distinct honour to show you to your common room. Right this way. I bet the headmaster doesn't show everybody to the common room. That would take forever. Well, she's not the head, yeah. Deputy headmistress, whatever she... The emotes she made are uh, fucking amazing. What's that? Oh, the... Oh, Delta's emotes. Oh, yeah. Absolutely fantastic. I love the um, the Steve theme ones as well. You know, Stranger Things Steve. This is the entrance. This is really fitting for us. Like, basically the beer cellar. That is our entrance to our common room. Leads to being doused in vinegar. Most unpleasant. Oh, yeah, we don't want that. Two from the bottom, middle of the second row, in the rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. Helga Hufflepuff, right, yeah. There we go, I finished it off. Well done. <laughs> now go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Oh, brilliant, Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Well, we get to go explore the common room. Griffin Dong, Slithery Bastards, Raven Cunt, I'll say it, I don't know, and Huffle Pussies. Hey, did that. Oh, did that, did that take the bad language out itself? Fair enough. Oh, look at Hogwarts Castle during the day. Nice. Before we do explain... Eh, uh, explain. Before we do explore the dorm, though, I'm just going to be right back and get myself an ice-cold beer. Because, uh, unfortunately, I've run out. <laughs> so I want, oh, we've just had a raid as well. Hello. Uh, in fact, uh, we had a raid from Delta a minute ago. Let me go to the movie theater. Hello, good sir. How are you doing? I've literally just got to the common room. I was going to grab myself a beverage. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome back, guys. Sorry about that. I needed to get myself... Another beverage. I'm just going to pour it out now. And I've got some snacks. Ooh, I need something to keep me going. I'm so tired. But yeah, really do appreciate the raids, guys. And you're coming at quite an early moment, like an early part of the game as well. So there's no spoilers for you. Right, so let's explore the common room. Ooh, you're right, so you can interact with a good few things. But you can drink. Uh, the tea magically appears in your hand. Fair enough. It really is magic. Can you cast spells in the school then? Oh, yeah, you can. Oh, I've just ruined that pit. Oh, maybe not. Oh, you can eat some fruit. Okay, fair enough. What else can you do in here? Right, find your common room. So these are the dormitories, aren't they? There's loads of them on the map. So can you, you can go into other people's dormitories, I think. Right, let's sprint. Yeah, there's loads. And this is the common room. Oh, wow. That is a fantastic uh, common room. I'd love to see what they all actually look like as well. Like the Slytherin one's supposed to be really cool. Can we uh, interact with people? Oh. I just knocked the book out of the hand. Now she's just... Oh. Some of the animations are a bit weird on this. <laughs> oh, wizard chess. It does its own thing. Yeah, there's lots of plants and stuff around here. Oh, there's a ghost over there. <gasps> nice. Just the music and the f I'm, I'm just I'm in Hogwarts. It's it's crazy. What a wonderful looking game already. Well, I'm not gonna eat more fruit. We know what that does. Can we talk to the ghost? <gasps> look at them sweet treats. Oh, they look good. 
Diabetes. Thank you for not biting me. Lenora Everly. Oh, you can... Oh, okay. Oh, there's an owl! Oh, looks like a headway. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. She's awfully regal, isn't she? Is that your owl? I don't know who she is. Oh. Likely the soundtrack is honestly amazing. Yeah, really, really good. Their own company, Just so anyway. fit into the film and the Wait, universe. You're the new fifth year. Quite the dramatic entrance you made. Why? I just imagine how? wanting to call attention to yourself. Just because I was Especially a bit late. It was hardly dramatic. To see how much <laughs> you already know. King GB, Dr. Mantis Potato... Potato... Boggan? Potato Boggan, that's what it should be. Potato Boggan Games, how's it going? Good sir, welcome on into the stream. Lovely to see you as always, dude. Have you got Hogwarts Legacy yet, or is it not your thing? Uh, I'm not worried. I'm not worried. I'm really not worried. I'm sure I'll be fine. Nevertheless, it is rather unusual. You must feel terribly... Out of place. Oh, not really. Course, Don't get sassy with me, Lenora. As a hard-working <laughs> Hufflepuff, you'll prove yourself in no time. I'm hard-working too, as you might suspect. But sometimes I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. I've rather a searing wit. <laughs> At least people have always told me so. I'm Lenora, by the way. Lenora Everly. Well, mustn't keep you. You've such a lot to do. Fair enough. How does she know I've got a lot to do? I want to call myself Mantis is cool. Hey, you can change your name, mate. That's fine by me. Look at you with your Ravenclaw emotes. Should have been a Ravenclaw. Or what do you call it, Dexter? You know, feel free to type it in. Right, so I've got myself some beer. Typical, uh, is that like a typical Hufflepuff trait then? We're just like, our entrance to the common room is in the beer cellar. Hmm. Have some snacks. I got some mini eggs. These are bloody lovely, these mini eggs. I ain't even going to question why she thinks she should have been a Ravenclaw. Nice to meet you. It's nice meeting you, Lenora. Of course. Adieu. Adieu. Right, who can we meet next? <gasps> There's a cat. You don't need to be frightened, little cat. Uh, I <laughs> can't quite reach. Oh, damn. Uh, come on. Oh, it's gone. Hope they can catch him. Big castle for a student to get lost in, let alone a cat. <laughs> oh dear. I'm sure you'll oh, I hope you can get pets right. in this. Yeah, I oof, mean, mini eggs, yes. At first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> We've got a mini map, haven't we? Welcome That's always handy. Puff, by the way. Really we need the Marauders map. <laughs> I'm Arthur. Thank you. Hello, nice Arthur. You. Was that your cat? No, one of the first years, I think. Don't have any pets of my own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't think too highly of them, especially magical ones. Oh, I'd have one if I could. Shame. I uh, yeah. I think magical beasts are incredible. Yes, that's what I'm Sorry thinking. Sorry to hear that. I think magical beasts are rather incredible. Best thing about coming to Hogwarts: Nifflers, Glumbumbles, Vodruckles. What are they? <laughs> I thought there were only pictures in books before. Well, Dad did bring home a puff skein once. Mum was. What four. about? Does anybody know what these <laughs> things actually are? Anyway. I better go make sure the first years caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. Uh, good luck, Arthur. Nice meeting you, Arthur. <coughs> good luck finding that cat. Thank you. Try not to get lost in the castle yourself. Oh, I'll be right. I'm good with directions. It'll be fine. Right, introduce yourself to Adelaide. Hmm, that's an interesting name. There's this glow up here. I can hear the cat. Why can I hear it? Right, Adelaide Oaks. Hello, hello. Oh, this doesn't sound like you. Something's wrong. Oh, hello there. You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? I'm Adelaide. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. I'm just a bit distracted. Letter from my uncle. So tell me, I've been hearing all sorts of rumours. Were you really nearly gobbled up by a dragon? Yes. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I was just, yes, that I was. That one is true. Not the typical start to a new school. That's <laughs> dreadful. Well, I'm glad you made it. I hope it doesn't affect the choices well, too much. Anyway, <laughs> Professor Fink's gonna, gonna like, to <laughs> beat me on the first day. day. <laughs> right, I hope you have a nice day. Is your uncle all right? Let's Are ask you a sure question. everything is all right with your uncle? Oh, yes. He travels for work, always busy. I'm sure he just wrote it in a rush. Um, nothing to worry about. Oh, I love these mini eggs. 
It's so good. The Hufflepuff characters seem alright, and the common room looks fantastic. Thank you, Adelaide. Be seeing you. Of course, and good luck. Right, I can hear that cat. Where is that cat? I want to go and find the cat. Professor Weasley's waiting for them outside the common room. Poppy Sweeting. Yeah, I'm up. Why can I hear the cat, but I can't see it? Oh, what's that? Oh, I thought it was a cat there. What's that? Oh, that's a golden badger statue thing. Is it? <laughs> is it underneath the sofa? Right. Meet Professor Weasley outside the common room. Hey, hello. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. What school did he go to before? Here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Yeah, now, fair enough. of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end. The owls. 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 Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Oh, nice. Right, okay. Here you are. Ooh, I've got a journal. Nice. Oh, you can fit everything through the controller. <laughs> I love the um, like the haptic feed, yeah, haptic feedback and stuff. What is it? That was great. It's <laughs> field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning, so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. Right, okay. You'll be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Why does everybody say stuff differently? It's resource, isn't it? I thought it was. Thank you, Professor. But what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Right, so does the journal fill itself in? Is it a magic we'll journal? Any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Right, okay. <coughs> right, follow Professor Weasley. Wait for me. All right, can we this go a little way. bit faster? I should not want to run. <laughs> I guess it would be weird running will everywhere. Give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. Why do I, I feel like Hufflepuff is just the, yeah, the scum like at the bottom of the castle? <laughs> Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. I'm keeping up. If you go faster, it'll be all right. Don't worry about me. Right, I'm not gonna get that apple. Not... Oh, what's this there? Uh, some nuts. Revelio on it, and we'll see what the guide says. Oh, what's this? Oh, on the guide page, right? Okay. Revelio. The field guide page, right? Collect. Uh, Rumored to contain some of Helga Hufflepuff's original creations. This book holds a collection of Hogwarts students' favorite recipes over centuries. Some dishes like pickled, derigable plums are likely an acquired taste. Right? Okay. Fair enough. Uh, so you've just unlocked a field guide challenge. Your progress towards completing challenges appears here. This music is just... I know it sounds weird to say it, but it's so Harry Potter. Everything is just fitting really well in it. Alright, so here's the guidebook. This is uh, your wizarding level XP. And from challenges, increase your level and power. Field guide tracks your current challenge progress. Select the challenges menu to continue. Right, okay. I keep forgetting the menu is like... It's a cursor. Right, field guide page is 1%. Uh, oh, and you unlock stuff. Right, okay. Rewards must be claimed from the challenges menu. Come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked. Clever, isn't it? Keep your hmm. eyes open for more opportunities like that. So, Please plenty of collectibles the throughout the castle. Fair enough. Reception hall, right. What's this thing? Ah, good timing. Good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames flu flames. to get around a bit. Ah, oh, so this is your fast travel system, like the diagonally thing. The of the castle. Open it up and find ah. central hall. I like it. Right. Open the map at any time to fast travel to any discovered flu flames. Open the map. Oh wow! Look at that map. 
Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where the students and professors live and includes the house, common rooms and the great home. All oh, right, okay. I thought it was going to tell us something else. So your location. So that's all the dorms and the great home. Do I have to go to that one then? Yeah, fair enough. So we're close to the great hall. Can we... Oh, we can't zoom out yet. But yeah, there's there's lots of open area to explore, which is good. Oh, as if the Quidditch, as if we can't see the Quidditch in action. That would have been awesome. But yeah, Bell Tower, Astronomy, Grand Staircase, Library Annex, and the South Wing. That must be the Hair Borgy place, that place. It looks like it. Right, we've got to go to the Great Hall. Famous Great Hall of Hogwarts. In this view, you can see the flue flames available in that region. Green flue flames represents flames you have discovered, including your own house common room. Grey flue flames reveal location of undiscovered ones. Right, okay. So I can do the... Yeah, the Hufflepuff common room. Right, return to map. The right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including the Astronomy Tower, Library and the Greenhouses. Right, Library Annex region. Professor Weasley has unlocked the Central Hall flue flames for you. Ah. Oh. Use the right analog stick to rotate the map to fast travel to the central hall. Blue flames with square, right, okay. Save our legs a bit. It'd be good if you could use the fireplace in the common room, you'd have to walk and even here less. We are. <laughs> Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Right, cool. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. That's good to know. There's something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. The map is so shit in this game, that's the only bad thing. Alright, fair enough. Yeah, I wish there was a bit more detail to it there. Well, I'll get used to it. Oh, Defence Against the Dark Arts. Well, to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Right, okay. Uh, right. Can you tell me more about Charms class? People are learning Charms class. <coughs> exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes. All terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever, Ronan. entertaining wizard. And a talented teacher. Mm -hmm, fair enough. Uh, Defense Against the Dark Arts. That's the interesting one. The Defense Against the Dark Arts class. Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. As if they have to teach it in school. <laughs> defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge Hecate. of our students' education in that regard. Right, what's Hogsmeade? That's the village, in it? Ancient Hogsmeade. Oh, I can't wait to go there. Hogsmeade is the only all wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butter beer there with friends in Duke. Nice, under his drinking. <laughs> right, thank you, Professor. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. Oh, great. Homework, though. Speed in no time. <laughs> Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He certainly did. Hey, professor. He's been terribly vague. Hey there, Baz. When you were in high school, did you have a class where you had to take care of a plastic baby doll? No. No, I never had such thing. I probably still couldn't know. <laughs> To the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. But yeah, how's it going, Baz? Lovely to see you, dude. Hope you are doing well, my friend. Have you uh, played Hogwarts Legacy yet? There is, in fact. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... Oh, I shouldn't say more. Exploring yeah. ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself. Yes. Now. All good reasons, hopefully. There he is. Speak of the devil. There Professor he is. Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh. Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah. I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. They can't have Perfectly done much mocap or anything for these scenes because they're quite static, are they? To fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. 
Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Yeah. Very well. Enough chit chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you? <laughs> so you said on how hard your name stream uh, that you could be both a doctor and a praying mantis. Yes, that's what we are. <laughs> Spam the mantis emotes. And remember to use your field guide. Yes, I will do, Professor. You've already told us. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. Ooh, and so we've got we'll classes to go to. to oh, yeah, yeah. Need for those supplies. Oh, I can't wait for that bit. Right. So, oh, talk to Fig. Right, he's right next to us. Good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? Just, it was nothing, sir. Don't worry. Yes, sir. But I didn't tell her anything else about her travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, hmm. Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well trained. Yes, we are the chosen one, Apparently, not Harry. The benefit of an <laughs> exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Yeah, good. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not so subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Unfold it and have a look. Right, let's have a look. Open the quest log. Oh, on the map, sorry, yeah. So, it represents main quest. Completing main quest will further the story, unlock new features, and run experience points. Wee. Some quests are locked by spell and or level requirements. In these cases, you will need to be the required level and or have the required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completing professor's assignments or as quest rewards. Cool. So, we've got to... Charms class, defense against attack... Uh, oh... I think it rewards Leviosa or Accio. I don't know which one I want to do first. Might do the defense against the Dark Arts one, actually. Right. If uh, I could get lost in the castle, I may need to use the Charm Compass on the field guard to help me find my way. Right, track quest. Yes. There we go. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. That is most handy. Be helpful. Thank you. Thank you. Well, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional. I thought Ollivander was in the Diagon Alley place. I shall reach out when I oh, obviously have more not. information about <laughs> Only in Hogsmeade, the mysterious yeah. locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Right. Right, attend the class. Right, let's follow the map. Right, quest complete. Yeah, we've done our first quest. Charm compass, new item. No, oh, the flues. Potions classroom. Right, at least, yeah, at least we don't have to do anything else. Flu powder. It sounds bad, that, doesn't it? <laughs> right. Do I have to go through this big door? Fair enough. How do we... Eh? Oh, there was something to interact with there. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, God. Fair enough. I thought it was going to be raining then. Can we talk to people on the way then? Hello. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fair enough. Right, Transfiguration Courtyard. Oh, another flu flame. Right, yeah. I'm going to be discovering a lot of those, I'm guessing. Yeah, just the sheer scale of Hogwarts. Like, I know I've not explored much of it yet, but I can just imagine how big it is. Ooh, some weird eyeballs. I can hear music. Right. Quest begin! Oh, the classroom, it looks exactly how it should. Awesome! 
that all you've got? <laughs> Avada Kedavra! <laughs> Boom! Oh no! Professor Hecate! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces. <laughs> For, your own it's time. big mate, yeah. yeah look, it, already it looks massive. Here, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. I thought this now, game was set in the 1800s. You were asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. Knowledge. Nice. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will use a spell she? that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A <laughs> well, that's all him. Weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No. <laughs> One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now. Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Oh yes, can't wait to, right. So this is what I need to do for the new thingamabob. Oh. Oh yeah, I've got real used to that now. Levioso, it's a swish and a flick. <laughs> it's Leviosa, Levioso. not Leviosa. Why is it Leviosa if it's supposed to be like Wingardium Leviosa? I don't get it. Now, I love the fact the classrooms like it is in the films. It's amazing. <laughs> oh. Oh, look at me and my Hufflepuff robes on. <laughs> Here we go. Let us begin with the basic cast. Boom. See how the dummy deflected your cast? It certainly did. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, right, R2, select it, and then circle. Now, Ooh. the basic cast. Boom! Well done. Nice. I like it. Can we put him down? Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. This isn't the same spell as Wingardium. Ah, right, okay. The best way to practice that makes sense. <laughs> we'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Oh, we're Turn against the Slytherin. Yeah. Now, I Love want it. fair duel. Using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. Right, all the spells that we've learned so far, then. Oh, yes. I wish it was Malfoy at the other side, though. This should be easy. Protego. Ah, Protego. Super fight. This can't be your duel. Yes. And Levioso. Oh, he's got quite a lot of health, actually. I was just going to let him drop. <laughs> Kick his arse. Oh, stupefy again. Yes, nice. Bit of Levioso. Right, okay. <laughs> he's just going to hover there. Yes. Oh, I thought I had to get all the health off him. You give as good as you get. Nah. In your face, little slithery bastard. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Hufflepuff. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. <laughs> if what I've seen today is any... We're going to win the house cup. Kick his ass, potato. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing. But battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins. Goblins, is oh a dear. Kettle of Not Ranrock. Entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Well, that was cool. That was easy. Well, it was good. That was quite some fun. I don't think I got hit once. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that fear you, not the other way around. Okay. Nerd! <laughs> you drilled Sebastian. He's oh, I've laid up. Well done. Nice. I'd hate oh, she's to a Slytherin. I don't know. I want to take her on now. <laughs> but the fact I only know three spells is probably not going to do me any help there. 
Right, speak to Sebastian. After I've just kicked nice his ass. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. Oh, to be fair, at least it's humble in his defeat. Practice. It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, That's because I'm good. Perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I'm going to lie to him because he's a slithery bastard. It was never used my wand in combat. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive Wait, what? unsanctioned dueling organization. Unsanctioned organization. Ooh. Sounds intriguing. Nah, I like it. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me. I hope this isn't the slippery Excellent. slope to being a Death Eater, though. <laughs> you are if you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Right. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the Dark Opter, hello, how is it going? Welcome into the Paddy's Pub community. Hope you're rules. well, my friend. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Right. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. So I've been Perhaps invited to a unsanctioned, unsanctioned dueling club. <laughs> see if your performance today was sheer luck. Or actual or skill. Actual skill. Of course, it had to be a Slytherin that invited us, though. Clock tower entrance. If you're interested. So that must be one of the side quests, surely. Till next time. Well, we're not going to do that yet. We're going to first class student trophy. Yet. Nice. Yeah, we're going to do the main story quest. But I hope you're well. Thanks for popping in. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. All right, fair enough. Well, it's not like <laughs> you fail your class, then. See ya. Right, there's charms class as well to do. Right, more flu powder. Uh, I am a fantasy for Dr. Mantis. Oh, yeah. How's the game so far? Oh, it's absolutely brilliant. Like, now that I'm in Hogwarts and just, like, exploring the castle and stuff. Yeah, it's amazing. Oh, look at that. Just all, this, all the little funky things in it and the, all the interactions you can have as well. You've got to really take your time and look around. Like, I feel like I'm rushing things a little bit. Like you can interact with a lot in the castle, but yeah. Yeah, really good so far, thanks, yeah. I have no idea what that Gryffindor student was talking about then. Oh, it wants us to go up here, right? Okay. Hello, King GB. King GB is the coolest king. Where is this class? Right up here. Oh. Oh, they're cool, are they? Eddie Cleaver, I have no idea who that is. Can't see anybody. Right, go to champs. Oh, right, we're still gonna go up. Where the? Where is this? Glad we did the dark hearts one first. It's a lot closer. Right, so Akio, we're gonna learn in this class, I think. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. Quest begin. Wow, look at this classroom. This is a massive. Have I got any friends I can wear that? Here, behind you. Natsai Onai. Here, here. Yeah, yeah. If I said that right. She's a Gryffindor. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> no. Oh, here he is. Uh, can't get my switch to connect. It's Shall annoying. Oh, damn. <laughs> Welcome oh. to year five of Charmed. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks. Turn your page. <laughs> Turn your page to 507. Can anyone here tell me the difference? The 517 he said anyway. I don't even say it right. The color change and growth charms. One changes anyone? color and one grows. Anyone? Oh, she's giving me some advice. She's been nice to me, mm -hmm. but she's a griffin now, so you know. <laughs> I am afraid it is too late to study now. Oh dear. Mm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing Obliviate on one another. <laughs> Isn't that the memory wipe thing? Yeah. Mm. Mm, fair enough. <laughs> oh, I was slithering friends in here as well. The basic summoning charm. Hmm? Hmm. <laughs> it seems He's quite an eccentric character, isn't he? Review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. 
Ooh, okay. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are, and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get it to place now. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, just got to sort something out. Be right back. No worries, Dexter. No worries at all, my friend. You enjoy, right? Akio. Oh. Here we go. You, can, you don't have to be that accurate with that, actually. Either way, the PS5 controller changes colour depending on what charm you do. That's, that's awesome. Flashing a different colour. Not bad. Not you bad. Are a swift learner. Well, well, I'm just good at games, that's all. <laughs> Potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Miss Onai, right, that's a very good everyone. Natty Onai. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a Metroid Prime is on the Switch day. now, and I wanted to download it, but no. Oh, I saw something yesterday. It looked like such a Crash Bandicoot ripoff. Oh, I can't remember what it was called. It was so weird, but there's so much, like, random stuff on the Switch store. But yeah, Mrs. Mantis owns a Switch. But I do go on it from time to time. She's been streaming uh, Animal Crossing on the channel. Goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us... There are a lot of cutscenes in this game. <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our Ooh, prowess with right. the summoning charm to the test? Right? <laughs> <laughs> nice to be outside the castle. Oh wow, I like it. Ooh. <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Oh, all the pressure's on me in it. Alright, okay. So I've got to summon it close enough to score the highest points. Oh, I hope we get points for our house if we do this. Very right. simply, cast Akio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last boss. Oh, well, it was alright. Oh, I just don't want too much momentum. Oh, yes, there we go. 50 points. Splendid. Look at that. Like a pro. The first one was a dud. I didn't know how far it was going to roll. <laughs> I had to gauge it. Very good. Points to Hufflepuff. Way! Certainly no sport in playing without some oh, friendly, friendly competition. competition. Right, okay. Yes, oh, you can see the Quidditch grounds in the background. New the stadium. A bit nice. of a challenge. Come on up. Right, who are we going? Are we going against the? Oh, right, we're going against Natty. Right, okay. You are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Uh, Natsai and Doctor. Right, the court rules. Use Akia to summon the balls because you can. Let's go on. Right, yeah. That seems easy enough, and we can aim, which is good. Have we got to take it in turns? Oh, she's got thirty points. Right, okay. Oh, I can do better than that. That is how it's done. Okay, it's the doctor's turn. Right, I need to get a square die. Oh no. Right, I suck. I, I completely, yeah. Right, she's got the advantage, but I'm gonna kick her ass. Doctor! Right, when I score these 50 points, you won't be laughing then. Oh yes, 50 points. Oh hey! Reverse bowling in a way. Yeah, it kind of is. <coughs> oh, is she going to score 50 points? <gasps> oh, she has as well. <gasps> right, I'm going to make this count. I have to get the 50. If I don't, I've lost. Stay focused. No, I lost. No, as if I lost that. I did so well in the practice. Oh, well done. She did well. <laughs> Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Yeah, go for it. Well, if I win this one, which is going to be harder, then I'm the champion. Don't care. Oh, right, we've got blocks. I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Yeah, good. It doesn't matter about any of the other rounds. Oh. Dark up to redeem the bad dad joke. Let me just go pause the game. Let's have a look. Right, these are probably not going to be good. Honestly, they are crappy. They are cringy. That is the whole point. 
So let's see if it can make me laugh. Oh my god. Right. What would you call a camel that has no hump? Humphrey. Jesus. <laughs> Fair enough. I like that one. Oh, she scored 50 points there. I'm going to need to really up my game here. Right, I've got to cast this at the right time. Oh, yes, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed that. I love the but I'm never taking that channel point redemption off. But yeah, we've got loads of cool stuff like um, camera filters and, you know, you can even redeem our cat. <laughs> I, I bring the cat on stream and feed her dreamies. But obviously it's like building up the points to do it, but I try not to keep them too expensive. Like if they were too cheap, it would like ruin the flow of the stream and stuff. <laughs> But yeah, I need more little, um, lesser priced sort of things, really. Oh, is it going to fall off? Oh, not, not to worry. I'm worried now. I think it'll be... Mm. Come on, get 20 points. 30. I, don't think... I can't win this. I technically can't win this. There's no point in me even trying. Oh... See, I got to 50, but every time I either score 50 or it just it just completely falls off. Oh, she's the winner again. Well, I guess I can't be good at every game, can I? <laughs> just being good at some games would have been nice, though. Well done. <laughs> oh well, at least I sort of got used to Akio in a way. Someone has to lose, don't they? That's a good bad dad. It's a good bad joke. <laughs> Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. All right. Okay. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. No, you didn't go too easy took on me. Weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took oh yeah, so, so you have already yeah, you've already learned it. I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. I'm glad you understand. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly. I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world. I was going to say what country is that in, but no, she said Uganda. Fair enough. How big is Awagadu? Isn't it bad that I'm like, Awagadu, do, do, do. <laughs> I love that name, Wagadu. That's cool. Is right, how big is much bigger than Hogwarts? Bigger than Hogwarts. <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizard oh, really? in the world. So, yes. It's not as famous as Hogwarts, though. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Fair. Uh, what did the garment say? And apologies to the other garment. Oh, go on. <laughs> What's it going to be? Uh, what does Wagadu look like? Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? It addresses mountains of the moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick, I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school oh, wow, that, that seemed is cool. to be floating in midair. Is magic the same at Wagadu? This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Fair enough, because you can use magic without a wand, can't you? I'm sorry. Oh my god. But um There you go. <laughs> right, surely the magic is weak or that. No, I'm gonna put that's incredible. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Ooh, fair enough. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. Always oh, carry a wand in your pocket. It, however, <laughs> is that a wand in your pocket? Are you just happy to wand. see me? Seems very dramatic. Right, thank you for telling me. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better How do you know? He's just wizarding. literally stood there, not you moving. Next time. <laughs> not even blinking. Right, there oh, he is. You can a word Akeon. if you would. Oh, you can use Akio on humans. You wanted to speak with me, Professor. I did. 
I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectations. It was pretty cool. It would have been nice to win, but An you know. <laughs> competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss I always expect the unexpected. Which, take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. Oh. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Nice, right, okay. Uh, does that mean I can look at my quest map? Because we've done all those main quests. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't hello. you? I will go and say hello. Hello. Samantha, you who speak was it? To me. Samantha Dale. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Oh no, I hope it's been hope good things. Hope your going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Did I? <laughs> yeah, wasn't too challenging a lesson. Well, I lost, so I'm going to put that as kind of you to say. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Begins luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to How? be so humble and to trust your abilities. They should have Thank recorded more voiceovers. <laughs> to be overconfident in his. Well, I think you're already fairer than me, really? I'm How could you judge the game so much? I've literally played an hour. <laughs> right, new quest available. Open the quest log. Let's have a look. So you've not done the two... Um, you haven't done the Defence Against the Dark Arts and the Charms class. You haven't done them two. Right, so I've done that. Meet with Professor Weasley. What's I see in the classroom? Transfiguration Courtyard. Right, okay. We've been through there. We could maybe use the flu powder. The map is a bit rubbish, I must admit. Is that the Weasley after class? Right, okay. Can't we travel there with the flu powder? How do I How do I actually travel? Uh, are you laughing at your own jokes again? No! Dark Opter came in with a joke. <laughs> yeah, no, I wasn't laughing at my own jokes, don't worry. I'm laughing at the baddest of dad jokes. None of them on my own. Anyway, I use an app. That's, you know, that's how it works. Uh, right. How can I use the flu powder things? Right, can I do this? Transfiguration courtyard. Yes, there we go. You have to really remember where things are. Look at that map. That is a horrible map. It really is. Right, fast travel. There we go. Saves a few uh, steps. Uh, only if you've activated the flu flame. Press square, you melon. I just, I've just done it. Just give me a chance. <laughs> right now where is professor weasley that is the question so you haven't got this far yet then where has she gone oh in the mini map it says this this corner right okay thought she might actually be in the courtyard right begin the quest now nah, have you yeah, i'm gonna say fair enough what about the room oh professor? it's a little elf i was thinking the same thing deke Perhaps you could Deke. help. Oh, uh, excuse Deke. <laughs> that was a weird animation. I've just finished Hogsmeade, all right? Yeah, fair enough. I've not got that far yet. Uh, I'm off work this week, so I'll smash it through. Of course you are, the half ten. So am I. <laughs> yeah, they were all right classes, to be fair. as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Oh, stop Some prying. Ruins. The ruins. I wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? I'm not telling you. Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. Mentioning yeah, Revelio and Lumos, yeah? Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streamer. Stop prying, Without you don't us, need to. You must continue to build upon what you've learned. Uh, how awful is the voice acting of this Berlin character? To help hasten your it's not, yeah. With some extra assignments. They're quite static, aren't they, the cutscenes, I must admit. Like, they've, um... How would you put it? There's, like, not much life to them. Like, they maybe should have tried to motion capture something. It's a massive game. And obviously there's a lot of variations to the cutscenes of where you are and stuff like that. It, yeah, but... I can I can forgive it. It's it's not a bad game so far. But yeah, the voice acting maybe could have been a little bit better. It's just so... Uh, like, the mouth moves in time with it, but it's just not very well animated. There's no expression. Um, in that regard, I'll ask your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. 
Uh, what more work? No, I won't complain yet. Honestly, it's wank living off the name. <laughs> it's all right so far. I mean, I'm enjoying it. Professor Ronan. It's maybe been overhyped, and because it's been delayed a lot. You know. Professor Ronan will meet Does it meet our expectations of it? But I'm gonna judge it when I finished it. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade. Oh yes, we wanna go to Hogsmeade. We've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Yeah, it would be handy. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you. Oh <gasps> yes. Wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Yes. Right, uh whew, we've got a lot. So there really is an Ollivanders here. There's an Ollivanders in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the That's what I was familiar with, yeah, fair enough. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Does he just Ollivander teleport between is shops or something? Genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. Right, yeah, fair enough. Uh, what more can you tell me about the potions shop? Can you shop? tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. Right, okay. Uh, what's a spellcraft? I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration. Magic. What's transfiguration magic? Okay, fair enough. Ooh, how exciting! Right, I'm ready to go. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'm just, I just I want a butter beer with me, with me pals. My new Slytherin mates. <laughs> Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallo or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Or do we go with the slithery bastard, or do we go for the griffin door? <laughs> oh, I just think it's going to be a slippery slope with him. I'll be a That's death eater hanging around with that guy. Excellent choice. <laughs> Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. I wonder if these de decisions well actually like affect the outcome of what happens. Just these daft little things. Rookwood. I went with Onai. Yeah, I'd, yeah, yeah, fair enough. Local. Best to avoid him. I thought she'd be better. Including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. Right, okay. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the <gasps> Three Broomsticks. Yes! No, so there's a bar. No, I'm just, I'm just, yeah. <laughs> I'm just being a right slithery bastard myself, aren't I? Right, uh... I'll probably do Hogsmeade in the next stream, to be fair. It was just I just didn't want to not stream tonight. Merlin was a Slyther Slytherin. Fair enough. There were some really powerful wizards with Slytherins, like according to the books and uh, obviously that as well. But yeah, I think I'll probably leave it there, to be fair. It was quite a short stream, but we've got a little introduction to it. And I'm excited to carry on with it. But yeah, Hogwarts Legacy is good so far. I can't say it's bad. Thanks for the great stream, buddy. Sorry it was a little bit short. But yeah, glad you streamed. It was great watching. Cheers, Dexter. Thank you for being here, my friend. Yeah, that's all from me. Take care, everybody. See you later. Thank you for being here. And uh, yeah, see you in the next stream.